Hi, original friends. This is Jen. Welcome back to the Bar Library and this month's Move of the Month. It's January 2021. Last month in December, we did the original warm up, which I hope you were able to consistently do throughout the course of the month every day. Um, I admit that I did not do it every day myself, but I did it most days as the warm up is a great way to stretch out your body just to warm up, even if you don't plan on doing the rest of an original workout. So. Um, I do encourage you to continue to do the warm up whenever you need a break from sitting down or maybe to start your day or to end your day or in the middle of the day. So um, this month I wanted to talk about a top of the thigh move. So one of the series that we do at the beginning of the original workout immediately following the warm up is top of the thigh. So we're working the quadricep muscle. I'm just going to show you um, a quick little top of the thigh series that we can do together. And again, this is something that will take you three minutes to do. So gradually, my goal is to work up to an entire class. Um, at some point, I don't know if it's going to take me a year or more, but I just wanted to show you different um, aspects of the workout, take a little bit of time to talk through them, and to give you some tips and tricks so that when you do a whole class or a mini class, um, you have that much more knowledge and can work on your form and getting the most out of the workout. So let's do top of the thigh. You can use a standing bar, a stable bar, a chair, a countertop, a couch, whatever you have. Today I'm using my rose gold bar. I have a bar obsession, like you can see them all over my room. This one's on my trampoline, this one's freestanding, that one's well mounted. I have a ton. That one's on my door. Um, and I have more coming, so I kind of have a small little obsession with bars. Anyway, so what we're gonna do to work at the top of the thigh is we're going to start at our standing bar about an arm's distance away. I have my feet, um, I'm actually gonna push back just a tad, sorry. I have my feet uh, sealed shut and I'm also keeping everything zipped up through the back of the legs. I'm keeping my shoulders plugging down my back, my head toward the ceiling, slight tilt, see, slight tilt in that pelvis. I'm going to draw that outside leg out in a, as straight as can be. The inside leg, inside leg also stays straight, and I know it's kind of tough to keep that leg straight, but that also stays straight. Arm is gonna come out to the center of the room. I need to be a little bit further away from my bar. And basically, all the moves that are in the top of the thigh section work that quadricep muscle. So the key here, is to keep both of those legs as straight as possible when you're told to and keep the movement small and controlled. So lots of times we'll have you draw that leg up to what you think is your highest position and just do a tiny bend and a tiny stretch. So lots of the tops of the thigh moves start with little bends and little stretches. Here we'll start with little bends and little stretches. And I'm just imagining like a beam of light shooting out through my foot and I'm trying to keep that move really, really small and keep my leg really, really pointed, or that toe pointed, really, really straight. And then sometimes they may ask you to keep the bend and just pump that leg up. So the trick is these little repetitions add up over time and you start feeling this muscle talking. And you wanna make sure you're not leaning back because as we get tired, we have the tendency to lean back. And that little pelvic tilt is gonna help um, open up the inside hip flexor. So I'm pumping up, and I can do some big bends and stretches too. Gives that leg a little bit of relief. Sometimes we start with these. I started little today. So a few more big bends and stretches. And now I'm gonna ask you to keep that leg up nice and straight. Give me that happy foot and do little pumps up. This is stretching out the back of that leg as well as keeping that quadricep under tension. Trying to keep that leg up as high as you can, feeling the tension mount. Then we'll ask you to hold it sometimes, bringing one or both arms off that surface. Hold, come up a little higher, release and stretch. So you should have been feeling it all in the front and some nice stretching here in that hamstring. And then we'll just do everything on the opposite side. Same setup, keeping everything nice and sealed up. So starting with my toes, everything sealed up. My legs are straight in the back, slight pelvic tilt. Arm comes out to the side, head is up to the ceiling, shoulders plugging down the back. If you lose your tilt, get it back. Extend that leg out nice and straight. Bring it up, little bend, stretch. 
tiny movement. I may even be going a little too big here. Little moves. Stand up tall, don't lean back. Head, crown of the head to the ceiling. Then stretch, then reach. So imagining you're just stretching, you're lengthening, you're strengthening that thigh muscle, top of the thigh. Keep going. Keep a little curve there, pump up. Trying to keep that leg up nice and high. Tiny curve between that leg. Knee is not moving now. Just this muscle is pulling up that thigh. The inside leg is straight. That pelvic tilt again, if you lost it, retilt, helps to bring some stretching to the inside hip flexor and releases anything in the low back. And now let's do some big ones. I need a little bit of, little bit of relief here. Some big bends and big stretches. Breathing through. Big bends, big stretch. Trying to keep those legs nice and straight, everything nice and strong through that core, through the top of the head. Last one. Straight leg, happy foot, arm comes up, little pumps here, little lifts. We usually finish with some little pumps up and a hold. So you know you're getting toward the end. Pump up. And let's just do a couple more. Hold it. Float one or both those arms up. Hold. Come up a little higher. Hold four, three, two. Stretch it out. Top of the thigh. My heart rate is up. And I wasn't jumping. I wasn't doing anything ridiculously intense or of high impact. So that was top of the thigh. Next month we'll do back of the thigh. But for now, work on that. Throw it into your regular workout routine a couple times a week and you'll start to notice the smoothing out of the thighs, the lengthening of the thighs. Um, I've noticed I've lost a lot of bulk in my, I still have muscular legs, but they used to be a lot more bulky, especially here on the sides. Um, we will work side of the thigh too. But these original moves have uh, not only increased my flexibility, but the length and helped cut down on some of the bulk that was getting to be a little bit too much for my personal preference for my body type. So thanks again for joining me for the January 2021 Move of the Month Top of the Thigh Work. Take care. Bye.